An egg cracks open. A baby bird is about to be born. But what happens next? At some point, there's going to be a full grown bird, but how do birds get from here to here? Different birds have different answers, and you might be surprised at the different ways that bird parents raise their chicks. There's two main strategies for young birds. They can hatch out of the egg well developed, with strong legs for walking, downy feathers for warmth, and well developed eyes for finding food. These chicks are, to some degree, able to feed and care for themselves, and don't need the assistance of parents quite as much. This is called the precocial strategy. You can think of the word precocious, which means unusually mature. The second strategy is to hatch out of the egg featherless, blind, and unable to leave the nest. These chicks are, to some degree, dependent on the parents for food, warmth, and safety. This is called the altricial strategy. It's a funny word, but it derives from the Latin word for nurse, indicating that these birds need lots of care when they're young. Why would any bird choose an altricial strategy when precocial chicks are able to feed themselves? Precocial chicks have to grow from a newly laid egg to a chick running around in under a month. The altricial chicks basically just need a mouth and digestive system, and they can finish developing later. So altricial chicks have bigger brains as adults compared to their body size. Also, precocial eggs have twice as many nutrients compared to their size, so the mother has to find and eat lots of food before laying an egg. Parents of altricial chicks can find the food later. There's some variation on these themes. Super precocial. This is used in Australian brush turkeys. The parents build a giant mound of decaying leaves and lay their eggs in it. The decay keeps the eggs warm. When they hatch, the young are on their own. No parental care at all. Semi-precocial. This is done by gulls. Young remain near the nest and are fed by their parents, but they can walk around a little. So there's no perfect strategy, just certain benefits for each choice. But there's a special type of bird that chooses the best of both worlds. Parrots. They lay energy-rich eggs that let the chick do lots of development inside the egg, but the baby is also born blind and helpless, and the parents bring it even more food after it's born. What if the goal of slower development is to have a smarter baby? Then parrots are wildly successful. Parrots are highly intelligent and social birds, capable of learning behaviors by watching other parrots. This is what makes parrots successful, that they can learn from each other and benefit from the experience of older birds. There's another species that has highly developed babies with extensive parental care. It's our species, humans. So now you know more about bird parenting. There's lots of strategies, each one having different benefits. If you're watching this video when it comes out, there will be a break for the next two months. I have stuff that's going to take a lot of time. Good things. I'll try to get a couple Q&A episodes out during the break. Subscribe if you want to know when those arrive. Thanks for taking the time to learn what makes life awesome.